from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top stories, COVID-19 numbers continue to head in the wrong direction. These are the confirmed case numbers through Sunday, 132 on Thursday, 162 on Friday, 81 on Saturday, and 91 on Sunday. That's more than 300 cases for that four-day period, most of them in the capital. The health care system continues to be stretched also with 103 persons being treated in hospital now. There are now 14 persons in the ICU. The numbers prompting the government to put additional testing requirements in place for visitors and travelers. Five more deaths recorded in that period, all in the capital. The death toll now at 291. Current state of emergency scheduled to end on August 13th. No indication that there'll be any extension yet. National Security Minister Dames tells the media this. We have to take personal responsibility. If we go to church, if we go to an event, um, it's, it's very important to wear your mask. And when you look at hospitalization numbers around the world, those persons, the vast majority, in the 90 percentiles, who are being hospitalized are those persons who have not been vaccinated. You know, these are serious times, and it's more than enforcement. Enforcement can't do it by itself. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. The debate over whether vaccination should be mandatory for health care workers continues as health officials wait for more vaccine to get here. Next batch could be here this week. The government has made no final decision on that yet. In Grand Bahama, a man is dead, another in hospital after a fatal traffic accident there. A vehicle overturned and slammed into a tree in the Hannah Hill area of Eight Mile Rock. Drive-by shooting incident here in the capital turns into the latest murder. A man walking on Sandalins Village Road shot from a car, according to police. That investigation is ongoing. The government is looking into the offloading of that beetle-infested wood from a cargo ship in Grand Bahama recently, trying to determine who is responsible. Six cases of the coronavirus confirmed on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship that left the Bahamas last week. Not a reason for concern, says Tourism Minister Diagula. He says COVID cases on cruises are going to happen. Sean A. goes for gold in the 200 meters at the Olympic Games today. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, a stationary front across Florida, sending some related weather into our area. Mostly cloudy, highs in the upper 80s, some low 90s are possible, showers could be around. 88 at Freeport, 91 in the capital, 89 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. Next time is a low around 11 this morning, next time about 5 this afternoon. Mostly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. We're approaching the peak of the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to double-check your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Tuesday's World News headlines, the Delta variant of the coronavirus pushing up cases around the world, alarming the WHO among the major surges in Japan, in China, in Thailand, and in the U.S. Vaccination efforts in the U.S. getting a boost because of the spread. The Americans have now hit the 70% vaccination rate that President Biden wanted initially, but it's a month late. Weather continues to make news. Wildfires continue to burn out of control in southern Turkey. 10,000 persons evacuated. Monsoon rains in China and India triggering flooding and landslides claiming more lives in those countries. 
Scribion's gas tracker prices, Shell 513, SO 517, Rubus $5.18 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports section. All of the details from Tokyo in the Tribune Sports, including the disappointment for Devin Charlton in the 100-meter hurdles finals. More controversy for Team Bahamas at the games. Read the latest. Tribune Sports has total coverage of all of the events at the games in Tokyo. Kai Jones will win number 23 for the Charlotte Hornets in the NBA. Read about that in the Tribune Sports Tuesday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. 